What are you doing? What was that? What's going on? Come again? What'd you say? Twice time. Time pass. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid direct the idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. He calls it Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. Twitter all more juicy gun gun. So juicy. Oh, the fun of vacation squad. Slow motion this side. Hmm. Can I get a hello? Follow us on a personal YouTube channel. Link in the description below. Today we are reacting to Making of Parched. Really? Well, it's actually the Making of, I believe it's called Making of Parched. I'm assuming it's the series Finding the Mystic Lover. Ah. The Wonder Schlong, if you haven't seen our uh, review. Uh, awesome. Endel, uh, I believe, isn't it? Endel? Uh, Adil. Adele. Adele, not Andel. I'm sure we're I'm just dyslexic. Like um, but yeah, so this is making part, finding the mystic lover. So it's probably going to go in the, behind the scenes of making that, which awesome. cin cinematic wise, we. Once again, if you haven't seen our review, go watch our review, please. If you haven't seen the film, see the film first. Go watch, go watch the parched. film now. Um, but I'm hoping this goes pretty in depth because we actually thought. Because this is that cinematographer you said, right? Yeah, the Carpenter, who was the, uh, among other films, he has a huge resume, won an Oscar for Titanic, mm -hmm. working on the a Avatar sequels right now. So the uh, cinematographer for this is Academy Award level phenomenal, and it showed in this film. Here we go. <clears throat> It's Nida Kings in this beautiful lighting called you. Tucked away far away in somewhere. I mean, you have no idea of any. You can almost walk across and not know there's a beautiful place like this that exists in, in this locality. Good job, scouting. You know it's the most intimate scene of the film. Shots, the last shot of the day. Oh, oh I could have wish I had the 
time shows longer. It, it, yeah, if you need, is it a whole thing? Because I could totally watch the entire behind whole the scenes behind of that scenes. film. Yeah. Um, so when they say it's the martini shot, that that refer, refers to the fact that that's the last shot they have for the day, and that means when everybody's done, they can go have the martinis and have a drink. It shows you how important a cinematographer is. Uh, Hugely. A, like, because a lot of people that don't know film. Just, they give credit to the actors, they give credit to the director, right? usually. And the writer sometimes gets thrown in there. The other ones that don't get it are uh, scouting, uh, cinematographer, uh, choreographer. Um, production design. Production design. But a cinematographer, I think, is one of the most underrated important and underrated roles in the entire film. It Absolutely. can make your film a great film, and it can make your film an average film. Yes. If, if it's not done correctly. Yes. Um... But yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. Also, I love, if you haven't seen it, I posted it on, on Twitter. Apparently, a lot of, one of the reasons this film did not get seen as much as it should, because this scene, for some reason, got leaked and got put on a porn site. And so it was a whole controversy around it, and people saw that, and so people didn't want to go see it. And then she answered a question. Mm -hmm. from a reporter who asked she and um she was like did you see the scene did you share it well mm -hmm. you're the problem right okay yeah. i'm i'm an artist i was asked to do something and i will do it <laughs> yeah um and it's, it's absolutely brilliant and i love her even more for it um but it, it, it's quite disturbing that that's the reason a lot of like it, this film did not get seen yes and when it was seen a stupid baby messaged me and said i saw this in theaters in india and when Radhika's breasts were shown, they were blurred out. You serious? Mm -hmm. Doesn't surprise me. I saw 1917 in Calcutta, and bad words were cut out, and certain things were blurred. Oh my god. Yes. And I wonder, in the regard to the whole intimacy aspect of it too, two things. The first one is, in uh, filming here in the US, it's mandatory per Screen Actors Guild regulations to have what they call an intimacy coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if they do that. I, I think that's what they meant by the choreographer. Yeah, I think, I think the choreographer but works obviously they in don't, the same. They don't really have a union like we do here. No, no, no. It, it wouldn't be exactly the same because what an intimacy coordinator is supposed to do is ensure that everything's done in, according to the way it was done contractually. And that even if you agreed to something contractually and change your mind, the intimacy coordinator can ensure that if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. And it's up to the actors if they want to close set or if they want to. Correct. Which set. most most in, most things that are intimate, where there's nudity, close the set's set. closed. Means it's basically just the people that have to be there. Have to be in there. And then what they'll do is they'll set everything up, and you can pretty much when you have a closed set doing an intimate shot. You can have your cinematographer obviously has to be there, your director, and almost everyone else can be out. Yeah. And just be checking things in monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, sound doesn't need to see a thing. No. So they can be listening in and then make changes, cover up, and you can keep it as private as you want. Yeah. Um, so, but the intimacy factor was so, that was one of my favorite things. I don't even know if I would consider this a moment. It was an intimate moment, but I think the, the moment between her and her friend. When they were both yes. naked, I think yes. that was, in my opinion, the most intimate part. We of were. I was watching it. I had seen it and then watched it with Indrani when mm -hmm. we set things up and yeah, we yeah, could yeah, watch yeah. it right. And the moment that scene happened, and her top came off, and you could see Radhika's breasts. Indrani's. I, I looked at her, and her jaw dropped, and she said, "I have never seen that in a Bollywood film, ever." And that's what I said. When yeah. I was like, I've seen this a, in OTT, OTT, but not yeah. not in a film. Yeah, and uh, her comment to the reporter did touch also upon the fact of we're we're sexual beings, and it's the human body. And she encouraged him to go home and look at his own naked body in the mirror and become yeah. more comfortable with it, and then he wouldn't be as uncomfortable with other naked bodies. Yeah, yeah, um, and to to recognize that what they were doing wasn't groundbreaking. That if you looked at the rest of world cinema yeah. and what the rest of the world is doing. It's, this is just standard, standard storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's, sorry, censorship just makes me very upset, uh, in, in any form, uh, like <laughs> blur it up. What do you think those people think is under those blurred bars? I know. It's like, oh, I, I, I would really wish I knew what was under those. I really do. I, I really wish I did. And it's like when they blur out cuss words, it's like, I, they know what you're saying. 
Yeah. Like, what's the? I, anyway, I'm not. Gonna and do and if <laughs> if you were to if you were to go walk amongst the Hula tribe in Papua New Guinea, all of the women are just walking around without their tops on. Yeah, it's a cultural thing. Yeah, but because their breasts. Yep. Yeah. Um, but anyways, fantastic film. I could. I am. I'm, I'm hoping there's actually a the whole a full on behind the scenes of the film because yeah. I would totally watch the entire thing. Yeah. Uh, that was. That was phenomenal. Uh, let us know what's next uh, behind the scenes or um, Roddy Cup film. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Need to watch more. <laughs>